Welcome everyone. In order to video call on the iPad 10th generation, we're going to be using an application called FaceTime. FaceTime only works with other iPhone and iPad and Mac users. So if you're trying to video call with someone who uses an Android phone, you will need to use Skype instead. So in order to set up the FaceTime app, you're going to open up the settings from here. You're going to scroll all the way down until you see FaceTime. And from here, there should be the option to sign in with your Apple ID if you have not already. You should also see here FaceTime. If this toggle is off, make sure you turn it on. You will also see you can be reached by and then your Apple ID. So if you would like someone to FaceTime you, you just send this information here. If your iPad and your Apple ID has links to an iPhone, you may also see your phone number. And if someone, to, uh, if, if someone were to FaceTime with your phone number, you would also have that show up on the iPad. So once you have everything set up, let's open up the FaceTime app. Now by default, there is a feature called center stage. So you can see it's just pointing to my face, making sure that's in the center of the frame. If you don't want to use center stage, then you slide down from the far right hand side, long press on effects, and then tap on center stage to turn it off. Now what this will do, as you can see, it's not you know pointing straight to my face, all right? See, I'm coming out of focus and before it would have zoomed in to my face. So from here, below the new FaceTime, it will show all of the people you FaceTimed in the past, if you do use this app in the past. On top of this, you may see here this cool icon. You may need to tap on that one to start a new FaceTime session. If you haven't FaceTimed before, you see here, new FaceTime, you tap on that, and then you would enter in the information. You can also create a link for users on an Android or you know Windows computer to FaceTime, but it's not a solution I would recommend. Again, I would recommend you use uh, something like Skype, which is more seamless because they have to click on the link. The browser may not work with the, uh, the video call, so just keep that one in mind. So we tap on your FaceTime here. You just enter in the information and then you have FaceTime audio, which is like a call, but it won't use your, uh, you know, your um, call minutes. Instead, it'll be using your cellular data. And then you have FaceTime video, which is the full video call. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel and use Amazon, if you buy anything from my Amazon affiliate link in the description, I'll get a commission. Amazon usually takes. Bye bye.